hi kelvin here in this video i will show you how to draw this simple door design and we're going to achieve this objective using the following tools rectangle circle offset copy move and trim commands and to actually draw a rectangle in autocad we're going to be using this for example if i want to draw a rectangle of let me say here is 20 millimeters and here is 10 millimeters i will pick the rectangle then i will pick a point on autocad next i will type at the x axis is 20 comma i will type the y axis which is 10. next i will press the enter key or you can equally press the space bar both are the same and if you do this you are going to get this drawing in autocad this is how we actually draw a rectangle we are going to use this command to actually draw this door. We are going to start by drawing out the bigger length of at 940,2140 mm. millimeters. We'll press enter and we're going to get this outer space. Next, we're going to use offset to offset this line inside by 20 and we're going to get the red ticker line next we're going to draw this which is 250 by 500 and we're going to copy this into four positions and we're going to equally move 600 by 200 rectangle to this position and here we have a circle of radius 300 and this distance is 100 once we actually know all this dimension the space between this is 150 and the space between this is 100 with these dimensions we're going to draw this accurately in AutoCAD to actually draw this, you can use a circle or an arc. But here, I didn't put arc initially because I used a circle here. But if you decide to use an arc, you will still achieve the same purpose. Now that you have seen what we actually want to do, it is important to make a sketch on paper with dimensions. Is going to actually make your work a lot more easy. In the next few minutes, you should be able to draw this in AutoCAD. Now, let's get started. Next, let's load the AutoCAD software by double-clicking the icon on the desktop. Next, you can press F7 to toggle the grid lines off. Next, let's click the rectangle tool. Next, we're going to pick a point on the screen. Next, I will type at 940,2140. I will press enter. Next, I will type offset. Next, I will press enter. The offset distance is 20. I will type 20, press enter. The crosshair will change to a little square box. I will click the edge of this rectangle and click inside the rectangle. Now I have achieved 
this. Next, I'll press escape on the keyboard. Using the line command, I will click this and come down by 100. I'll press enter twice. I will pick the circle. Click anywhere outside here. The radius of that circle is 300. I'll press enter. I will click the circle. Next, I will type copy. I will press enter or spacebar. I will pick this circle from the quadrant. If you can't see this quadrant, press escape and type O snap and press enter. Now you can just click select all and click OK because this is what we are looking for. We want this midpoint, endpoint, quadrant to be checked. Click OK. So click on the circle, type, copy, enter. Click the quadrant and move it to the end of the line and click and press enter. Now you can delete this. You can still use move to achieve the same purpose. I can click on this line and delete. Next, I will pick a line. I will click quadrant to quadrant. Press enter. Next, I will type trim. Press enter. The crosshair has changed to a little square box. I will click this base and trim it off. I will press enter. If you want to use arc command to achieve this purpose, I will know the end of this line. Click 1, 2, 3 and I will still achieve the same purpose. But here I want to use a circle. Next, I will now draw a rectangle. This time around, it's a rectangle of 250 by 500. I will type at 250, 500. I will press enter. Next, I will pick the line command. Click this, the end of this circle and come down. The distance between this is 150. I will press enter. Enter again. I will click the line command. Click the other end, 150. Enter twice. Why do I need this line? This line is just to guide me on where this rectangle will fit. I will press escape on the keyboard. Next. I will click this rectangle. I will type move. I will enter. I will pick it from this end. Not from here. Not from here. Not from here. Why do I need to pick it from here? I can press F8 to allow me to easily move it about. Because I want to drop it here. Next, I will now use the copy command not to move. I will pick it from here, not from here or here or here. It must be from here. And I will drop it on the other end. I will press enter. Now I can decide to delete these lines. I have achieved this purpose. Next, I will pick the line command. I will click the end of this line. Now I need a straight line, so I will press F8. I will type 150. I will press enter twice. Next, I will pick the line command again. Click this end and come down 150. I will press enter twice. Next, I can highlight these two rectangles. Type copy. Enter. I will pick it from this end, not from any other place. From here. Because I want to drop it here. So I will just click twice. One and two. I will press enter. Next, 
I can decide to delete this line because I have achieved my purpose using that line. Next, I will pick the rectangle tool, click again. This time around, I need a rectangle of at 600, 200. Enter. Next, I will pick the line command. I will click here, come down 100 and enter twice. Next, I will click this rectangle, the rectangle that I've drawn. Next, type move, enter. I will pick it at this end and drop it at this end. I can delete this line. Next, I will now type offset and press enter. I will accept the 20 or I will type 20 and enter. Next, I will offset this rectangle. I will click and click inside. Click on it again and click inside. Click on it again, click inside. You have to do this. Now we need to stop. We just need one, two, three, four, five, six, six of it. Next, you just press enter or press the escape key. Now, instead of offsetting these remaining ones, I can decide to highlight this and copy. Pick it from here and drop it here. Drop it here. Drop it here. Enter. Now, I've achieved this purpose. Next, we can decide to make this line thick. Highlight it. Go to the property. I will go to the property and choose 0.3 millimeter thickness. I can equally give it a color. I will escape. I can do this same thing by changing the color of each of these. I will escape. I can change the color of this. I'm just playing around with the color. Escape. Let's see if actually we got the distances correct. Let's dimension this object by clicking here. Click the other end. We can click this end and carefully click the other end and we are going to get 940. If you dimension inside, you are going to get each of them correctly. And for the circle, the radius is 300. I can highlight this, copy, make a copy of this, enter, and this will be without dimension. And I will dimension this. When you're done with dimensioning, you press escape on the keyboard. If this video was helpful, feel free to click the like button and subscribe. I will see you in the next video lesson.